Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And today I'm so excited because it's the summer mystery box hop. And in this mystery box hop, we each sent each other a box of mysterious items, all Dollar Tree, some crafting and some are not. And so the challenge is that we are to each craft with each and every single one of the items that we each received in our box. Hence the mystery box challenge. So a little bit more about that later and let's get into the crafts. Okay, let's see what's in my box real quick. My box came all the way from Canada and this came from Brie from Brie's Arts and she made this beautiful card to even embellish it really cute, wrote me a sweet note and she even sent me some Canadian treats. Woohoo! All right. Okay, look at this caramel milk. Yum. Cheesies. Mmm. And coffee crisp chocolate bar. Okay, I got a bamboo scraper spatula. I got some rub-on transfers. I got some tissue paper, a wooden picture frame, some pretty tissue paper, a nautical rope, a cute little house, a MDF board on a stand, some more tissue paper, <laughs> a cute little fence panel, some long beads, and some DIY tropical stickers. For DIY number one, I'm going to take this little fence panel and remove the twine on it. I don't need it. And I'm also going to take the wooden picture frame and a little crate that I had from my stash. And I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly Antique Wax. And now I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly Chalk Paint and the color Plaster. And I'm going to give everything a nice, thick, dry brushing until I get it looking like this. And so now I'm going to take the wood frame and I'm going to take some of this tissue. I'm going to take the colorful tissue and I'm going to place a piece on the back just like this. And now I'm taking my little crate and I'm going to add a bead of glue, actually three beads of glue, and I'm going to adhere it to the bottom part of this wood frame and center it. And now I'm taking the little fence panel and doing the same. Add a bead of glue and place it on the little crate, center it. And now I'm going to add a block of floral foam and make sure it fits in there. Add a bead of glue, place the floral foam inside, press it down. And now I'm going to go in with some of these beautiful florals from the Dollar Tree, these Larkspur and this Gerber daisies from my stash. And here it is, super cute. And now I just want to embellish it a little bit with some of these beautiful gold butterfly transfers, rub-on transfers. So I'll add one little butterfly on the top of the wooden frame and a little bitty one on the bottom of the wood fence panel. And so for this DIY, I used four of my challenge items. I used the wooden frame, the fence panel, the butterfly rub-on stickers or rub-ons, and the tissue paper. What do you guys think? This summer Dollar Tree mystery box hop is hosted by Sammy over at Unicorn Dust Designs and guest starring is Leonette over at DIY Beauty on Purpose. And the way this hop works is we each send each other 7 to 10 random Dollar Tree items and some are for crafting and some are not. And to see who I sent my box to, you'll need to click the link in my description box after viewing my video to see who I sent my box to and what I sent them. Then you'll continue that process until you make a full circle and get back to the person who you started with. Then you'll know that you've made it through the whole hop. And to be entered into the mystery box giveaway, you'll need to answer everyone's mystery question down in their comments. And since this is a summer themed mystery box hop, and I love the beach and I live in Florida. I'm trying to do a nautical 
kind of a beach themed for my DIYs. And so since I love the beach, my question is going to be, how far is the beach from where you live? Like for me, it's about 30 minutes. So how far is the beach from where you live? That is my question that you need to answer in my comments to be entered into the mystery box giveaway. And the winner will be announced in our community tabs on June 6th. Okay, let's get back into the crafts. For DIY number two, I'm taking this MDF sign that's on a stand and I'm just going to use the back portion, but I do end up doing the front as well. And I'm gonna, going to go in with some of this Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and paint this whole pink stand. And now with my satin Mod Podge, I'll go in and saturate the rest of it with the Mod Podge and I'll place some of some of the blue tissue paper that she used for packing. I'm actually going to use that too. And it's not even a challenge item. And so I'm going to place that on there, smooth it up and tear it up and just keep building and building until I get it the way I want it. And I actually do this to the back as well. I do the front and the back. Well, this is the back, but I do the front and the back and I just layer each piece of tissue paper and now I'm going back to the pack of tissue paper that was part of my challenge item and I'm going to use the blue and I'll do the same the same process to the top of this little sign and I'll just keep building it and building it and the fact that it wrinkles is is a plus because I want this to look like an ocean and like the ripples of the waves so I'm just going to build this up with this tissue paper and just keep building and adding Mod Podge and building. Just tearing up these pieces of tissue paper until I get it to look like this. And now I'll go in with some of this Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And with my Dollar Tree chunky chippy brush, I'll do a really light, light coating just to simulate the waves like this. And while everything's drying really well, I'm taking these little palm tree wooden stickers from this DIY sticker pack and I'm going to go in with this Apple Barrel Kelly green paint and paint them up like this and I also use some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color hazelnut as well so I use both and look how cute so now I'm taking some of the nautical rope that was in my mystery box and I unraveled it to give me three pieces and I'm going to add a dab of glue and place the trunk part of the tree on the rope to help simulate a tall palm tree. And I'll do this to all four of my little palm trees so they look like this. Look how adorable. So now I go back to my little sign and I'm just simply going to adhere these little trees onto my MDF board, my little ocean scene to make it look like they're, they're on the beach and there's the ocean, so cute. And now just to make it a little cuter, I'm taking some more of this rope and I'm going to add a dab of glue and I'm going to adhere this to the whole perimeter of this little stand, just like this. And with my Cricut, I cut out this vinyl from the Cricut Design Space and it just says vitamin C. And I also cut out a little sailboat just to put out in the horizon where the dark water meets the light water. Look how adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just had so much fun creating this piece. And now I have these little shells from the Dollar Tree. These are just from my stash. And I'm just going to place them to embellish them on the bottom to simulate the beach. So now just to gild the lily just a little bit more, I'm taking one of these little glass bottles from the Dollar Tree with the little cork tops and a random piece of paper and my pen. I'm just going to write real sloppy help <laughs> and i'm just going to roll up this little piece of paper and stick it in my little glass bottle and hot glue it to my little setup oh i also placed a little bit of sand in there and i put a little twine on it and then hot glue this to my little stand and that is it i'm done with this one so for this diy i used the mdf sign on the stand some more of the tissue paper and the diy tropical wood stickers so what do you think
for DIY number three, I'm taking one of the little flip-flops wood pieces from the sticker collection and some of this bright blue paint from Apple Barrel and I'm just going to paint it real quick. And I'm also taking some beads from Amazon and a little tag from Dollar General and painting them white. And I used the same brush that I used for the blue, so that's why the paint doesn't look really white. It's kind of bluish, kind of light bluish, but I was happy with that. And I'm also taking some other beads from Amazon and some dark blue beads from Dollar Tree and these natural beads, these brown natural beads from the hair, hair section of the Dollar Tree and these long beads from my challenge box, a little handful of them. And so first I'm going to hot glue the little flip flops onto the little tag like this. And once I get that on there, they fit perfectly on there. And now I'll get some of the jute twine and I'll add a little dab of glue to the end just so it'll be easier to thread all these beads through, especially the little long narrow beads. They're, they're a little bit of a challenge. So I'll begin with one of those and I'll just thread these through and I'll just do a pattern with the bright blue and a natural one and then a light blue and so on until I get it looking like this. And then I'll just attach this to the tag, the jute twine, and then I'll thread that end back through the first two beads just to secure it in place so it won't come undone. And I'll snip off any excess after the two beads and then I'll put them back through. And on the other end, I'll just create a quick little tassel. I'll snip off the end and then I'll start wrapping this jute twine from the Dollar Tree around my hand about a good 20 times or so because this jute twine is pretty thin. And then I'll bunch it together and take another piece of, or I'll take the jute twine that's on the bead, beaded garland and put it through and then take another piece and go around the tassel, the top of the tassel, tie it up and then I'll secure it in place and snip off the end, cut the end open and then give it a little haircut and this one is done. Super cute. What do you guys think? For DIY number four and my last DIY of the day, I'm taking the little house that is so cute. I really didn't want to use it, but I knew I had to. So I removed a little flamingo and I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint and the color ocean. And I'm going to mix it with some of the Waverly chalk paint and the color elephant. So I'll mix these two together to create the color that I'm looking for, which is kind of like a, like a darker blue, like a nautical blue. So I'm just going to paint this whole thing. And now I'm taking some of these craft sticks and I'm going to cut them in the width of this little house and I'll cut two and I'll take the two little cut craft sticks and some of the white apple barrel paint, paint those and then take some of the Waverly chalk paint and the color plaster and with my chunky chippy brush, I'll distress this little house all the way around the perimeter and the side and the inside. And now I'm taking some of the hot glue and I'm going to adhere these little craft sticks and place them inside the little house to kind of resemble shelves. So once I get those nice and secure, and get them both on there, I'll go in with some of the nautical rope and this time I won't cut it. I'll just add a dab of glue and place it on the top portion of the little house and go through the whole perimeter with this nautical rope until I get it to look like this. Once I get that on there and I'm happy with the way it looks, I realize, wait a minute, I didn't do the top portion because I'm turning this little house into a boat. So I'm taking another craft stick and I'm going to mark the angles that I need to cut it. And I'll use my EMT shears, which cut through these little craft sticks like butter. So just snip those out and place that in place and then get another little piece of craft stick 
to fill in the top portion and then I go back in with the same combination of the two paints and then glue it in place and then I'm taking my lighter and I'm going to burn off all the fuzzies off this rope this rope is, is pretty good quality but it had some fuzzies and so I thought hmm, why not let's burn the fuzzies <laughs> I like the look and I like the smell and so now with my Cricut I cut out these vinyls that say the ocean is calling and I must go and a little anchor and I'll include the link to this cut file that I created in my description box for all of you and so now just to gild the lily a little bit more on this project I'm taking this little pen from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the little donut and snip off the little bottom part on there and I'm going to go in with some apple barrel paint in the color white and flag red and I'm just going to paint this and turn it into a little lifesaver and I don't show it but I also add a little twine for the rope portion and now for my most challenging item of my mystery box and it's this bamboo turner well it's like a spatula turner and so I'm taking my box cutter and I'm just scoring it and scoring it and scoring it until I get it to break off and so let me tell you this took this took some strength this took some finagling <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie <laughs> but I got it <laughs> And so now I'm also going to do the same thing to the end and I even go in with my little Dollar Tree hacksaw and then I go back to my box cutter to score it some more and my crafter square wood tools and I just keep working it working it working it until I finally get it to pop open and I pull it apart like this so satisfying <laughs> so now I'm going to take my little miter shears and I'm going to snip the little end apart and I'm going to place it like this on the piece on the long piece and I'm going to secure it with some hot glue and I need another one so I happen to have another one of these turners in my kitchen so I went ahead and did the same thing I cut off I just cut off the end which is all I, that I really need so I cut off the end with my miter shears and then place it on that piece and so now I'm going to go in with some of the wood filler to help um, shape these little pieces which are going to become the oars to my little boat. So now they're looking like little spoons. <laughs> so now I'm going to take some sandpaper and kind of sand them to give them some smoothness and some more shape. And I'm going to go back in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color Ocean and some of the white. And paint them up like this and put a little bit of twine on the top and then glue them in place and add my little lifesaver for embellishment and that is it what do you guys think <laughs> well i'd like to thank sammy over at unicorn dust designs for hosting this summer dollar tree mystery box challenge and leah nepp from diy beauty on purpose for guest starring and i enjoyed it i enjoyed participating in this challenge and creating for it and I want to also thank Bree from Bree's Arch for sending me these wonderful pieces to work with I had a lot of fun and don't forget to go to my description box and follow the hop click on the next link and answer my mystery question that I gave earlier and answer it in my comments to be entered into the giveaway so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a great, great day. Bye-bye.